Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing class 13 of the 30 day love yoga journey. And today's class, the theme is going to be petty tyrants. It's part of the hero's journey. Every hero on their journey can and may and most likely will encounter the archetype of the petty tyrant. It is someone, usually an authoritative figure or could be your boss or even can be a bully. Uh, it could be someone that um, fulfills that role in your life and the reason why they show up in our life is to strengthen our character because even when we go through challenges those are typically opportunities for us to prepare for something bigger uh, down the line in the future and they're an opportunity for us to strengthen our character and go deep dig deeper and find who we truly are so petty tyrants have their purpose in life and the way to deal with them is to go in, find love and forgiveness for them and be steady. When you deal face to face with them or in a situation with them, the best way to um, deal with that situation is to be very steady, to be grounded in love and forgiveness, but also to be very steady. So you're not flinching, you're not scattered brained and um, emotional but you're steady and in your roots right so let's contemplate the petty tyrants along our path maybe in the past or present and let's ground in the heart and in the core the center the root remember to flow with strength and ease Today's class is going to be a little more intense interval training session. So we'll get to breathe and just really exert a little bit of an effort. Do as much as you can, rest as much as you need to. This is not a competition and you don't need to do everything. Just do as much as you can and as much as it is fun for you. This is meant to be fun. And starting in the front of the mat, feet parallel to each other, roll the shoulders back and down, open the palms of the hands forward, pull the belly in and really bring your attention to your core. You can bring your hands over the belly and firm the abdominal wall and feel it forming up underneath your hands. Mind-body connection. When we touch a muscle, we can connect with it better. Also inhale into the be belly, metaphorically and literally. So inhaling, expanding the belly, but also as if you're drawing from that area, from that center. Energy, prana, awareness, consciousness, care. All right, bring your attention to your feet. Let's get grounded. Open the toes as wide as you can. And as they're open, place them back down. Drop the corners, the four corners of the feet down into the ground and feel the stability of your feet. You can shift side to side here and feel that stability. Feel the equilibrium here. You can drop the palms of the hands facing forward, uh, hands by your sides and just shift side to side, feeling the feet, feeling your foundation, the ground beneath you. You can shift back and forth. Just feel the balance here. Feel the left and the right side of the body. Observe it. Take a moment to witness your body. To tune in, to pay attention. Great, let's open the arms out to the sides, smile 
and shift twisting over to your left look over your left thumb left hand great back to center and shift over to the other side and here the hips are following you're just easy moving back to center one more time shift back to center shift great back to center now steady the hips extend the tailbone slightly down engaging the core the core is really firming up and we're just shifting from the belly button up the hips are staying put and this is going to result in a little less of a twist but we're feeling the difference we're feeling the body back to center opposite side back to center inhale reach reaching over the head lengthening tall look up without pressing the neck back lengthen the back of the neck and now with a very straight spine pull the belly in so the core is engaged bending halfway then bend the knees and lower the hands down on the floor and just shake your shoulders moving groove here look over to one side and over to the other and just soften here move in a way that your body is asking you to move you can rock back and forth here great let's bring the hands on the shin bones pull the belly in and look ahead of you hands on the floor plank Spread the fingers open, press the heels back away from you. Pull the inner thighs towards the midline. So the inner thighs are <sighs> squeezing towards each other. And really press into your heels. So we're not pulled up here forward, but we're really pushing in the heels, engaging the legs in this whole pose. It's not just upper body, it's not just lower body. It is a core pose and we're distributing the weight between the front and the back, the top and the bottom, more so. All right, knees on the floor, lower down onto your belly, squeeze the elbows in. Cobra, elbows are still bent here, regardless of if you go deeper into the pose, such as what I'm doing or you're a little lower your elbow should remain bent or not doing that the most common mistake is just strengthening the straightening the arms and just hanging here no we are working here this is an active pose the lower belly the lower back is working the chest is opening every pose has a lot of intention in a lot of inner dynamics going on it is not just hanging in there hanging in the pose all right go back to downward facing dog and it's okay if some of those poses don't make any sense to you this all comes with time and consistency and dedication they will all start making sense to you as the body starts to get them breathe inhale the right leg up step it through and come up high lunge exhale the left hand down right arm spins up press the back heel straight up feel the twist through the midsection reach over the head and turn the palm of the hand down so there is a lift and reach from the heel all the way into the fingertips really reach lengthen great lower down 
plank to belly on the floor cobra to down dog Inhale the left leg up, step it through, press the back heel away from you and come up high lunge. Exhale the right hand this time on the floor, press the back heel straight up and twist here. Use your core to find this deeper twist, reach over the head, exhale down. Step it back, plank, press into your heels, lower down, cobra, down dog, inhale the right leg up, step it through and come up high lunge. We're going to lower the left knee down. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to take the left leg next to the right chair. Hold chair, tuck the tailbone under, dip a little deeper here, step it back, high lunge. And let's go five knee dips. One, two, three, four, five, chair, and go a little deeper here, go a little deeper, great, step it back, high lunge, right knee over the ankle, try not to go forward, stay back, extend the tailbone down, one, two, squeeze, three, four, really squeeze the muscles, five, chair, tuck your tailbone under, breathe, feel it, Step it back to high lunge and open the arms out and twist to your right. Drop the hands down onto the legs and look over the shoulder. Beautiful. Exhale down, plank, cobra, down dog. Inhale the left leg up, step it through, high lunge. And we're going to lower the right knee down, keep the left knee over the ankle, one, two. Really feel that stretch in the hip flexor, four, five, and yes, you know it, chair. Go a little deeper. All right, step it back, one, two, three, four, five, chair, step it back, one, two, three, four, five, chair, and back, one, two, three, four, Five, step it to the front, sink in, a little deeper, burn, burn, back to high lunge, open the arms out, twist, drop the hands down, look over the shoulder, lengthen through the crown of the head, beautiful, exhale, down, and let's lower down, cobra, Down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through. High lunge.
Let's lower the knee five times. One, two, three, four, five. Hands over the heart. Warrior three, we're going to balance on the right leg. Level the hips. And here you can bend the right knee. One, two, three, four, five. Try to level the hips. Step it back, high lunge, and five more. One, two, three, four, five. Hands over the heart, warrior three. And let's keep the lower back curve. One, two, pull the belly in, three, four, five, and back. Lower down, one, two, three, four, five. So keeping the mind steady in the face of a challenge. The class is a metaphor for a challenge in life. So we are moving and there is an effort here, but the breath is steady and the mind is steady. We're okay with the challenge. Five knee bends and step it back. High lunge here. You can do the twist we previously did or you can deepen it with left elbow on the outside of the right knee twist keep the chest open and the shoulders down and release down good job cobra elbows in exhale down dog Breathe, smile, contemplate, deepen. Just tune into the challenges in your life that you have faced on your path and the petty tyrants that have graced and blessed you unknowingly. so that we can move forward with strength. Inhale the left leg up, step it through and come up. High lunge, lower the knee down. One, two, three, four, five. Hands over the heart, warrior three, one, two, three, four, five. Step it back. One, two, three, four, five. Hands over the heart. Warrior three. Level the hips. Turn the toes down. Flex the foot. One, two, three, four, five. Step it back. Let's lower down, one, two, three, four, five. Shift forward, one, two, strong, three, four, five. Step it back and either twist as we twisted the last time or hands in prayer, right elbow on the outside of the left knee, use the Leverage of the elbow to open the chest here and deepen the twist. Exhale and soften the belly. And release. Lower down, cobra. And exhale, down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, high lunge and come up to standing in high lunge. So here we will 
bring the hands on the hips breathe through this challenge stay steady stay grateful for the challenge and this is to remind us to be steady during times that are challenging and to remember that challenges are there to illuminate our path and to strengthen our character this is truly why pe te petty terrors show up and there's many of them in our life some of them are more significant than others <sighs> such as maybe people that make small remarks at work or as we were kids in our family and they were just constantly putting us down or just ma making small remarks those were there and if we had looked at it as an opportunity we would have strengthened our character and then when we meet the bigger tyrants we would be prepared so this is a process of growth if we look at it that way and that's what we're contemplating on today all right enough break i know you needed a little breather so now we're going to bring standing on the right leg bring the left knee in cross it behind keep the right knee somewhat back lower the left knee down in a cross back lunge squeezing the booty and then back to center and out and then back so it's a threefold lunge and that's one so let's go one two three that's one one two keep the body back three that's two and we can count three 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 four 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 five 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 let's go let's keep going six 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 seven 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 eight 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 nine breathe nine nine last one if it's burning embrace it give me your best last rep and high lunge hold it with with a smile shaking but with a smile all right exhale the hands on the inside of the right foot drop the back knee down walk it further back and stretch here stretching the hip the glutes the hamstrings and on the left side we're stretching the quadriceps <sighs> it bent even so us and basically the hip flexor all right step it back and lower it down we're almost done with the challenging part so breathe opening cover exhaling down dog you're doing good inhale the left leg up step it through high lunge take a moment to breathe to prepare to focus on your form and to tell yourself that yes you can do this keep your knee back left knee back as you go through the lunges it's a three three form lunge three fold lunge hands on the hips bending the right knee and extending the tailbone down so that the position here is correct and we're going to cross one out one back one cross lower down two 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 three three belly in three strong core four 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 five 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 six 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 
seven, 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 eight, 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 nine, 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 ten, ten, ten. High lunge. Exhale the hands on the inside of the left foot. Walk the right knee back. Take the tailbone under and breathe into the hip flexor here. Good job, everyone. This was a challenging interval class. And if you're here with me, you've gotten through the challenging part, which also will build strong legs. So it is a beneficial part. And we're gonna go into the stretching part. So you can lower the left shin bone down on the floor and level the hips. So they're equal distance from the floor. Pull the belly in, open ribcage lifts, lengthen and lower down pigeon. Now, if your knees are bothering you here, you can always rest in happy baby, child's pose, shavasana, whatever feels appropriate for your body and whatever is enjoyable. Inhale, coming up, open the chest, look up. Optional here is to roll a little further forward on your shin bone, bend the right knee, reach back with your right hand and keeping the tailbone tucked under, bring the leg in. So this stretches deep into the quadriceps hip flexor. You can release the lower back. This can correct our posture, pelvic alignment. So it's a good pose. Very good. Tuck your toes under on the right side. One legged down dog. And you can just draw a few circles with the left knee. Reverse the direction. And opposite side. Bring your right leg forward. Now, if you want to deepen this pose, you, all you'll do is walk the left foot further back so the heel opens away from you. If you want to make it a little easier, you will walk forward. You will bring your hip more towards the heel. Flex your foot, lift, breathe. Letting go with through the breath.
Great, from here, lifting back up, open the chest, lift. You can roll forward onto the shin bone, lifting the hips slightly off the floor. Bending the knee, this is an optional pose, do it if, if you can and if it feels beneficial to you. Stretching should feel good, challenging a little bit, but not painful. Not at all painful, mostly a good feeling of release, of something that feels like, ah, oh, my body needed that. Ooh. All right, let's tuck the toes under, press it back, one-legged down dog, a few knee circles, changing the direction. Great, step it down, drop the knees down, sit in a comfortable cross-legged position. You can do a little twist here, side to side, and then side bend, side to side. Great, you can shake the shoulders, lift them, move into the rib cage, side to side kind of in a dancey way, move, move, groove, groove, shake, shake, and just feel the body. All right, good, we brought, we brought circulation <laughs> into the upper body and a little looseness and a little getting out of the head and into the body type of <sighs> movement. And let's inhale the hands over the head and exhale, sell them over the third eye, the third eye center and over the heart. And let's bow to our hearts for their forgiveness, compassion and love. Namaste. Thank you all for joining me today. Tomorrow will be more of a stretchy class. So that's when we're gonna do more of the stretching. And the theme for tomorrow, you can try to guess in the comments below. It's a very, probably one of my favorite themes. It's a really, really powerful, cool theme for tomorrow. So you can try to guess what it's going to be. Let me know how this class worked for you. And I'll see you tomorrow. And remember to flow with strength and ease. Namaste.